Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed Egaz Diva and welcome back to the Blessed Egaz Diva channel and people, Elaine Thompson Hera is no longer training with MVP. Yep, she is no longer training with MVP and I'm going to tell you why she's no longer training with MVP because I got from a little birdie that Shakari has started but anyway people, when we get back, we to look into it, we're going to talk about it, let's kick it. <laughs> Double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hera has confirmed that she is no longer training with the MVP track club. She had earlier denied a split. In a statement, Thompson Hera said she has resumed athletic training but doing so independently. I will continue to do so while I finalize all aspects of my team for the upcoming season, she said. All right, people. So then I took to Elaine's page because I wanted to see if she had anything to say about that. Basically, she had these posts on her story. Will it be easy? Nope. Worth it? Absolutely. Think about every good thing in your life right now. Free yourself of worrying. Let go of the anxiety. Breathe. Stay positive. All is well. I am amazing. I am immortal. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am the greatest. I am the fastest woman alive. Today is my day. Happy Heroes Day. Then she took to her Instagram and she posted three main photos of her participating in an honorary service. And she wrote, I've been inspired and motivated by powerful women around the world. Powerful women from my island home, Jamaica. I feel so honored, overjoyed to be given the order of distinction. Commander class by my nation. I now use this classification to help motivate and uplift women and young girls to strive without limits. To God be the glory. Hashtag history. Hashtag history books. Hashtag CD. Hashtag Olympian. Hashtag powerful women, hashtag motivation, hashtag fast Elaine foundation. And people, that's a good achievement for her. Now to why I say I am going to tell you what has happened. Now, I'm going to show you these pictures and people, it's alleged, right? Let's say I'm wrong, which I doubt highly that I am. But just say that it is right. This looks like Shakari is in Jamaica to me. And Shakari has started training. She has started training. So it looks like Shakari is training with Elaine Thompson Harris coach. And Elaine Thompson Harris can't have that. It is not a good look. I don't care what Stephen wants to say. It is not a good look. Anyway, why I'm going to say this? Am I just saying this out of the side of my neck? Not necessarily. We're going to look at a little quick post and delete from Miss Shakari. As per usual, either she do it to stir up controversy or she do it for just be Shakari. And geez, man, Stephen coaching Shakari. People, just, 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 just hold on. Let, let me pull up the message. <clears throat> so people, as I said, Shakari took to her Instagram and she did a quick post and delete as per usual. And she wrote, I've seen a lot of changes since working with coach Stephen Francis prayer emoji hashtag faith and under that it was Snoop Dogg and you know input up the United States flag and the Jamaica flag and the shake hand emoji no people you tell me no <laughs> me me most ignorant for Shakari and if I were Elaine Thompson here or two I would change. Now we're going to answer to the people who are saying that, yes, Stephen needs to broaden his horizon and this is nothing new and he should be able to train whomever he wants to train. Yes, but I'm sorry, just not Shakari. <laughs> not Shakari, people. Just the thought of it irritates the hell out of me. Like Shakari, eh eh. Eh eh. Me are irritating on my head. I'm repeating it many times over, but not shakari anyway we take to the comment section and well before we take to the comment section goody two shoes she went on her story and she wrote not bad for last 
next season will be legendary. Uh, Richardson being left behind. And she put up the names of our stars. And I can tell you people, Shakari is a taunter. She's a troublemaker. It, everybody knows nobody wants to see Shakari putting out these names. But Shakari just doing it to say, I'm in Jamaica now. What y'all going to do about it? I know that's what she's doing. I know that's what she's doing. And she's taunting them literally. So she's literally chatting off her mouth already. Like when she put up the Nicki Minaj stuff the other day talking about you know she took a break and she was this and she was that and now she's back and she's going to smoke them on the field and of course she didn't end up doing anything now anyway as i said let's take to the comment section of what one person said to her it kind of jumped out at me and i just thought you know so the person wrote please tell me you're training in jamaica are you then somebody <laughs> responded, what's up with y'all keep commenting under her post? Leave her the F alone. Already, y'all mad aggy. <laughs> the person responded to the person and said, bring your temperature down. I train athletes. My folks in Jamaica are training hard. If she is chilling and enjoying the vibe there, that's dope. But if she is behind the scenes working on her grind there, that's even more dope. I want her to win, period, both in life and on the track. Plus, I will be there in two weeks and I'm going to find out personally. I'm that serious about the sports. I don't play as a coach. I get in on your A. Anyway, people, I think that is enough information to solidify the fact that Shakari is indeed training with Stephen Francis. It is a bitter sweet thing for me because I really do want coach Francis to be recognized even more than he is right now. Unfortunately, they are not going to use our athletes to recognize them. They're going to use the international ones to recognize him. And it's sad that he has to go that route. And that is what I never like about this international sports. And we even saw what Nike did because they promote other Jamaican athletes too. But the attention they were giving to this loser, it was just unnerving. That being said though, the sweet part of it is Elaine thompson Hero. she's a stalwart, she's a champion, she's a star, and I know she will go on to do her best and continue winning. Anyway, people, tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Have you seen the Shakari post and delete? Have you seen or heard about Elaine thompson Hero? And as per usual, we'll chop it up down in the comment section. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell. And if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button and send this out. I'm out.